We're in downtown Dakar, not too far from the presidential palace, where after 12 years of Macky Sall, change is coming. Despite a delayed election that brought so much turmoil, the outcome of the vote did not divide the people, but instead united the Senegalese people. I'm proud to be Senegalese and to belong to a great democracy. Today we have shown and proven that we are a country that will stand by our democracy. We have proven to be a sovereign and that our destiny is in our hands. I'm hoping for change in the economy and that youth unemployment will be addressed. This election went well. It took place in peace and stability and the best has won for a peaceful Senegal and for the whole of Africa. From the European Union to the African Union and most importantly the regional body ECOWAS all have commended the authorities for organizing what they described as a free and fair election. This is important because it's a region marked by democratic setbacks with a number of coups in the region. The amnesty program initiated by the government, which led to the release of several political detainees from prison on the eve of the election, contributed to the largely peaceful atmosphere which heralded the conduct of the presidential election itself. Senegal is at a crossroad, taking a new direction away from a regime that had a lot of police repression and authoritarian overtones to a new president that has spent the last 11 months in prison for a Facebook post. He is relatively unknown, he's not from the political elite, and people here hope that he can deliver on this promise to bring justice, more freedom, and fortify Senegalese democracy. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.